Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson about taxation. In the last lesson, we learned the reasons that governments collect taxes. We also learned the different types of taxes that we pay. In this lesson, we will learn to calculate the different types of taxes in Ethiopia. Are you ready, students? Everyone in Ethiopia who has income must pay taxes. When you have finished your schooling, you will get your first job. When you receive your first paycheck from that job, you will also pay your first income taxes. Are you happy to pay taxes, students? Why or why not? In groups of three to four, please discuss this interesting question. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. I hope your discussions were productive. It is important to remember that each of us must make a contribution to the welfare of the country. Taxation 
allows everyone to help make Ethiopia safe, happy, and prosperous. It is a duty that we should be happy to fulfill. As we know, the economist Adam Smith laid the foundation of all modern taxation. He is also quoted as saying, every tax is, to the person who pays it, a badge, not of slavery, but of liberty. Now that we understand why it is important to pay our taxes, let us learn how to calculate them. Students, recall that the tax on your employment income is called a Schedule A tax. This is the table that employers use to assess income tax rates. With it, we can compute how much tax we will owe in our first job. This is Emmanuel. He just got his first job working in an auto repair shop. He earns a monthly salary of 1,100 beer. What will his income tax be? Let us use the tax table to calculate it. Emmanuel's total taxable income is 1,100 beer. From this total, we may subtract 150 beer, which is the minimum amount and is not taxed. His remaining taxable income is 950 beer. From 150 beer to 650 beer, he is taxed at 10% of his income. This is equal to 50 beer. He still has 450 beer of taxable income remaining. This is taxed at a rate of 15%, which is equal to 67 beer and 50 cents. 50 beer plus 67 beer and 50 cents equals 117 beer and 50 cents, which is Emmanuel's total tax for the month. His gross income minus taxes equals his net income. This means that he is earning a net total of 982 beer and 50 cents each month. Now, let us say that Emmanuel is very good at his job. After his first year of work, he gets a pay rise of 400 beer. He is now making more money so he must also pay more tax. What is Emmanuel's new net income? Try to solve this problem, and I will see you in a few minutes. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, students. I hope you had no trouble with this problem. The first part of our calculation remains unchanged. Emmanuel must still pay a total of 50 beer in taxes on the first 650 beer of his income. His remaining taxable income is 850 beer. In the range between 650 beer and 1,400 beer, he pays 15% tax, which is 112.5 beer. This leaves 100 beer of taxable income, which is taxed at a rate of 20%. 20% of 100 beer equals 20 beer. 50 beer plus 112.5 beer plus 20 beer equals 182 beer and 50 cents. Emmanuel's gross income is 1,500 beer. Therefore, his net income is 1,000 317 beer and 50 cents. Was that your answer? If so, great job. Just like the tax on employment income, the taxes on business and rental income are based on a proportional scale. Schedule D taxes are a bit different. Rather than an increasing percentage, each type of income is taxed at a fixed rate. You can see the list here. Royalties, for example, are taxed at an even 5%. Winnings from games of chance are taxed at 15%. Take a moment to copy these rates down, students. They are also available in your textbook. It is time for our last activity. I will show you three situations in which tax is owed. Please calculate how much tax is owed in each case. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello, students. Hannah's income is a royalty and is therefore taxed at a rate of 5%. 5% of 40,000 beer equals 2,000 beer. Yared's income is from a game of chance and is therefore taxed at a rate of 15%. 15% of 11,000 beer equals 1,650 beer. Elias's income is a dividend and is therefore taxed at a rate of 10%. Four times four thousand beer equals a dividend of sixteen thousand beer. Ten percent of sixteen thousand beer is one thousand six hundred beer. Good work, everyone. That is all for this unit. We have learned about saving, investing, borrowing, interest, and taxes. Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.